Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is March 2nd, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop here, and you can see a strong storm moving into western Canada here. Weak front is going to clip the area on in through today and tomorrow before a stronger system arrives for California. As we go through the weekend, more additional snowfall here coming for the Sierra Nevada. I know it's rough out there, guys, and there is more to come. And then we'll take a look at the extended forecast here as well as it looks like we may return to a bit of a warmer pattern here with some more southwest flow moving into the state here. We don't want to start to sound alarms just yet, but it's something worth watching. And if you look down here, you can see that upper level low that came across Southern California yesterday, brought those snow pellets, some snow to the lower elevations across the region. There are pretty cold temperatures in its wake across the state right now as well. So taking a look at some of those temperatures here across Southern California, you can see some pretty chilly temperatures, lots of them down into the 30s, even 20s and teens for the higher terrain there as well. Lots of cold air in the wake of that storm. And here we go, Hanford National Weather Service talking about all these uh, low temperatures out there. Look at Bakersfield all the way down towards freezing here. And of course, when you get into the higher terrains, well below freezing out there as well. So pretty impressive storm moving down across the region. They're bringing that low snow level and some very chilly temperatures. Now looking here, there are some freeze warnings across some of the Central Valley there as well, including some of the Bay Area, the higher terrain especially. And you can see they've already got the blue boxes up. Winter storm watch upcoming here as this next system starts to roll through very early on Saturday. Take a look here. This is for Saturday only day three overall winter storm impacts. You can see we're starting to get towards that moderate major and extreme travel conditions here across Northern California and the Sierra Nevada coming up again. Pretty potent storm incoming here, folks. I know it's starting to sound like a broken record and a lot of people are dealing with these issues out here. There's been collapsed roofs. There's people trapped in their homes. They can't get out of their houses for the most part. If you've seen those pictures on social media, it's pretty crazy. So do your part to raise awareness that there are people that do need help out there across some of the Sierra Nevada. Now, taking a look here, this is composite reflectivity, the NAM3 camera high resolution model. Put this into motion here, and you can see as we go into Saturday, this strong frontal system arrives Saturday morning here. And again, a lot of cold air associated with this. Big mountain snows coming up here, thunderstorm threat, big winds, and some big waves are possible with this system as well. This is looking at the NAMP3CAM surface-based CAPE, convective available potential energy. And you can see this is going to bring a thunderstorm threat as well. And it's going to help, help enhance some of the snowfall rates across some of the Sierra Nevada. Some big snowfall is expected. This is looking at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, or at least somewhere up around that height. And you can see the cold air moving across Southern California with that system yesterday that brought that lower elevation snowfall and the chilly temperatures still kicking off to the east as we speak. And then as we go on into Saturday morning, watch the next polar lobe arrive across California here. And you can really see it showing up there. The NAM goes out 60 hours. This would be about Saturday afternoon here. Storm underway across northern and central California here. And we'll watch in future runs to see how far south this is going to move across California. It doesn't look like as high as impacts across southern California at this next round at least. This is the GFS Guchera ratio. If we put this into motion here. We're going to speed through Saturday. You can see the snowfall totals just build up. And I know this is not what people want to hear across the Sierra Nevada here, but this is coming in, folks. And there's some pretty big totals coming up in here all the way through next week. And we'll see. There's some warm, a sign for some warmer systems moving in here, too, <clears throat> to kind of exacerbate things. I don't want to start to sound alarms yet, but it could potentially bring some flooding across the region. We'll take a look at that in a little bit more detail here in a moment. Now, this is the GFS. This is this morning's run, hot off the presses. Weak frontal system initially clips the area here. Then the stronger storm starts to roll in through Saturday. You can see the big mountain snows. Low pressure system developing here on the GFS would bring some stronger winds across central and northern California as well. And then you can see this trough kind of hanging out here, continuing to bring cold air into the region here on in through Monday night into Tuesday. And then you can see it starts to incorporate some of the subtropical moisture into the region here and spreading it into California here. And it looks like the snow levels are pretty high with that system. And uh, there's been some model disagreement between the European and the GFS on just how warm and wet the systems are going to be. So I don't want to start getting into details too much, but it does look like that pattern change is becoming more likely here as we look on into later next week and next weekend. So just have that in the back of your mind for now. And you can see additional systems possibly moving into the area through the extended forecast there as well. Now, this is looking at the entire Pacific Ocean, Hawaiian Islands in the middle. There's Japan. Here's California on the right. So we've been dealing with this La Nina signature with the strong jet stream off the Western Pacific there. 
And you can see it's causing this ridging over the Pacific and allowing these troughs to really dig out across North America here and bring that really heavy mountain snow and very cold temperatures across California. And then we start to bring this jet extends all the way across the Pacific here. And this is what could potentially start to bring this warmer southwesterly flow. You can clearly see it coming across the tropics towards California here. Something to watch. We can't get into details just yet. We just don't know how warm it's going to be, how much rainfall and <clears throat> how, how, how fast and heavy this is going to fall at this point. But we need to be watching it closely from now on, really. Taking a look here, you've got the European Ensemble mean on the left, GFS Ensemble mean on the right, precipitable water. And of course, you start getting towards the blues, the greens, and the yellows. You get, you know, it's a lot more water in the atmosphere here. Um, characterized by the subtropical and tropical moisture out there. And you can see pretty good model agreement with the trough hanging out across the Pacific Northwest here. But then you'll see the pattern change clearly come here as we start to bring this tongue of moisture towards the state of California. You see the GFS a little bit more moisture pointed at the coastline here versus the European. But you can see the signal is virtually the same. And then you go off in the extended a little bit more and you can kind of see that southwesterly flow still kind of pointed in the general direction of California. So we have to have it in the back of our minds this pattern change is potentially coming here. This is the GFS deterministic. This is not an ensemble here. This is the initial conditions. Best we understand them and then the model is run out. Big trough over the west coast of North America. That's going to bring our big snowfalls on in through early next week. And then you can see the atmospheric rivers potentially starting to move towards the state of California here. And yeah, hopefully this is going to be too bad, folks. I mean, hopefully it can warm up a little more on the slow side versus having some sinister atmospheric rivers really raise snow levels and bring heavy rain across because there's so much snow across the higher terrain. We could really be running into some flooding issues if that were to occur. So don't want to sound the alarms yet, but just have it in the back of your mind. The pattern change is potentially on the way. This is looking at the drought monitor. Some good news here. You can see California still covered with a lot of moderate drought. But as you scroll this across, we got the new update and you can see a lot of that's been removed across the area. I mean, some of the central valleys here are not even considered abnormally dry anymore. Just getting some good drought relief here across the state with these storms. Very good news there. Now, this is looking at six to 10 day precipitation outlook. You can kind of see that signal starting to show up there as we get into the extended forecast for those atmospheric river potentially coming towards the state of California, eight to 14 days, something similar there as well. And this is for the month of March here. The above average signal does exist across the West. So yeah, that we got some stuff to watch here, folks. First of all, the big snows are coming again and then the potential pattern change. We'll continue to watch this day by day as we go. The European and the GFS are kind of in some disagreement on just how strong those atmospheric rivers are going to be trying to get towards California here. So we'll watch that as we go. We'll try to break down those details and I'll do my best to explain it to you guys as we get closer to the events. So anyway, yeah. Um, but get your word out. You know, if you have friends, friends and family up in the Sierra Nevada, you know, contact your local authorities if you need to. Just make sure that people know that it's a pretty dire situation up there for some of those people. They're stuck in some of the back roads. But with the break today and tomorrow, we may, you know, you might be able to get a lot of those people some of the help they need, or at least let them get out of their homes and let them dig out a bit here before another big round of snowfall starts to come into the area starting on Saturday morning. So anyway, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. We'll do this again tomorrow. We'll take a look at some of these details a little bit more. We'll take a look at the snowfall storm coming up here, and then we'll take a look at what the atmospheric river, it looks like it's trending towards on and through the extended. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.